That is me, Craig, and perhaps like you, my dream has always been to have somewhere I can grow weird and wonderful tropical or exotic plants. But without much time, budget, or available space, how did I get to this point? Let's rewind four years and look at the journey. My wife and I moved into our first home with a garden in autumn of 2018. The first job in the garden was to remove the pebbles and see what soil was underneath. Much to my dismay, I was dealing with heavily compacted clay soil. In a cold, wet autumn, I took it upon myself to start breaking up this clay soil. I needed to bring in some organic matter to improve this soil if I was going to have any hope that tropical and exotic plants would grow here. So we bought in tons of spent mushroom compost. No tropical oasis would be complete without water. So I started digging a stream. It didn't take long for me to find standing water, showing just how bad the drainage was in our garden. Using reclaimed or recycled materials really helped me stick to budget. Materials like these stones that I rescued from somebody else's garden clear out. The seasons inevitably rolled by and the weather was getting particularly chilly. The snowfall actually made me question whether a tropical style garden was the right idea. With the snow melted, I wrapped up warm, went outside and carried on working. I got all of the layers down to waterproof the stream and filled it up with water. And as soon as the garden had water in, wildlife and birds started to come and visit our new young oasis. I had to buy almost all of my plants in autumn and winter when garden centers and nurseries were heavily discounting them. It helped me stick to budget really, really well. I had finally planted so many of the bargain plants that I'd kept in pots. Now for this first year, to get height quickly and cheaply, we grew lots of fast growing annual plants from seed. We grew plants that had bright, colorful flowers to help us get that tropical look. At this stage, many of our neighbors were astounded at what we had achieved in around six months. They all told us that we wouldn't be able to grow anything in this garden, and that just fueled the determination even more. Just when the garden was looking at its best, I decided it was the right time for my wife and I to add a puppy to our family. Cute as it was, it was a terror. I had to take action and I had to take it fast. But many of the exotic plants I grow are highly toxic. We made the decision to put a permanent divider in the garden. That did, however, mean that that garden stream that I spent so long building had to be partially removed all this change was just an opportunity for me to try new things and change up that first garden design. My wife has always loved cottage style gardens, so we built the divider in a style of a picket fence. It's now October, in our third year in this garden, and as a surprise for my birthday, my wife planned to get me a greenhouse. But with the addition of a greenhouse, the range of plants that I could grow was limitless. But give a gardener space and they will fill it. Soon enough, the greenhouse was overflowing with plants and I had to share or sell some to make some space. So I set up an online shop and started selling the occasional cutting or propagated plant. And it really took off. With spring and summer on the way, it was time for me to tidy up my side of the garden. I laid a pebble path and put all of the plants into the ground. And within weeks, they had thanked me for it. They were putting out new shoots and the leaves had greened up beautifully. The new smaller garden grew so well this year and I'm really proud of the layering and structure that we managed to get in such a small space. And to be able to be playing with these weird and wonderful exotic and tropical plants is a dream. We had to overcome so many hurdles to grow this garden. We have hardly any space, well, our finances were terrible and I didn't have a lot of time. But with persistence we managed to do it and I am so proud of where we're at now. And for the future? Well, I guess I just hope that I can keep doing this for as long as possible. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit subscribe if you've enjoyed this video and drop a comment if you've got any questions, tips or advice. I will see you all in the next video.